Walker, beware. Be careful, Richard. Don't get into this unless you know what Too you get into. Too late. As this report makes clear, <laughs> we've already been out. You need to understand Bitcoin. Yeah. We needed to show you how. So we dipped our toes and we're showing you, as we will follow for the next few months, thousands of others have done what we did. The goal here is very simple. We're going to attempt to buy a bit of a Bitcoin. Clearly, we're not going to buy that much. But with Nolan and Paul, we are going to show you how easy or difficult it is. I want to buy a Bitcoin. Have you ever bought a Bitcoin? I have not bought a Bitcoin before. I'm interested to see how easy Where do I start? First, we're going to get your wallet. So before I've even got my Bitcoin, I'm going to get a wallet. Wallets, digital wallets that we use in the cryptocurrency world, don't actually store coins. What they store are cryptographic keys. They manage, generate, and transact. There we go. Your wallet was successfully created. Before accessing your wallet, please choose a PIN number. Use and lock your wallet. It's important to remember this PIN as it cannot be reset or changed without first unlocking the app. This has put a lot of onus on the user for security. That's one of the major differences here. Instead of asking the bank to secure all of our personal information, the onus is now on us to ma manage our own cryptographic needs ourselves. I have brought what was a uh, party gift to people at one of our events uh, uh, two years ago, and there are 0 0.01 bitcoins on it. So that would mean this is one one hundred, so one hundred and eighty-seven dollars. Fine. Um, Where did you get this? This was given to me. This was a, a, a gift. But so. it's just symbolic. You cannot no. use this as legal tender. For the sake. coin is symbolic. But What's like, under this hologram here is a private key. Gotcha. And what we're arguing in this whole Bitcoin revolution is that keys are currency. Private keys are bearer instruments like okay. cash. And because it's a bearer instrument like cash, if someone would even mm -hmm. see your uh, key, right. they could use it as if they possessed the Bitcoin. What you got to do now is you got to peel the sticker off. So take your fingers and peel it off. This is there so that you know that the manufacturer, these are bearer instruments, okay. right? The actual private key is a bearer <laughs> instrument. So it would be the same as having cash. If someone knows your private key, they can access your funds. So now what we've got here is just a simple QR code. Oh. You'd call this a paper wallet. If you get access to these wallets, it's like getting access to cash. Right. Right. Think of it as a bearer instrument and cash. Success! Important so that's private a private key. key. So you've got 0 0.01 Bitcoin. So click on the top there. You've got. I have $186.43. There we go. And you can touch as it. As of right now. Let's assume we haven't got this. How do we now get a Bitcoin? So normally you'd fund an account after you shared your personal information so they know who you are, you would attach a bank account to it, and that would allow you to do these transfers. Uh, they so would I would, and, and where would I do that? With one of these people? Uh, you could do it with Coinbase, you can do it with Bitcoin.com, you can do it with Kraken. I've already got my wallet. Yeah. So can I go, now if I want to look at my wallet on here. Yeah. You can log in. There we are. Right. Right. You're, You're in. impressed. You've done and it's job. now supporting Ether. We can you buy can. even more. I Another think way. I understand it. Do you? A little bit. Mr. LaMonica and I mm -hmm. now own $170 worth of Bitcoin, which we will follow frequently on Quest <laughs> Meets Business, and then you'll help us sell it when we need to sell it. 